You might be thinking to yourself, wow, this has been a great tutorial series, but where do I go if I need more help? Well, let me walk you through some options. If you ever don't know how to use a tool, simply hover over it and press control. This will bring up a tool tip that tells you what each button does. There's plenty of detail right here. The first place you might check for extra tips or help is Cineversity. This is where this tutorial series you're watching is hosted as well as a ton of others. It spans multiple softwares such as Cinema 4D and Redshift and ZBrush, and it even houses my next set of videos called Next Steps that teaches you how to use ZBrush to actually complete a project step by step. Next we have ZBrush.info. Think of this like a little wiki that contains every feature and tool written down so that you can learn how to use it. Next we have hashtag ask ZBrush. The amazing folks on the ZBrush team let you ask whatever questions you'd like and then they answer it for you. You can even vote on questions that you think are important right here. You can even find hashtag ask ZBrush on YouTube and Twitter. If you want, you can even tweet out, hey ZBrush, how can I do this? Last but not least, come watch ZBrush Live. A ton of amazing artists that all use ZBrush stream on this channel constantly, just about every day, teaching you their personal tips and tricks. They also answer questions. I would be remiss to forget to mention that the ZBrush community online tends to be very inclusive, helpful, and supportive, so never feel like you're out of hope when you hit a problem or you have a question. Browse YouTube, go to Cineversity or ZBrush.info, ask ZBrush, and even stop by one of the ZBrush live streams to ask a question or hang out.